What's up everybody, King Louis here with part 2 of my Mordor dueling weapon tier list. While part 1 was all about two-handers, in this second part I will try to rank all one-handed weapons according to how strong they are in duels. This second part was significantly harder to create than the first one. After patch 19 nerfed one-handed weapons into the ground, most players stopped using them in duel yards. Anyway, I played a couple of rounds with all the one-handers and came up with the following tier list. I divided the scale into four categories, which are amazing, good, mediocre and terrible. Within a category, I tried to rank the weapons from best to worst, from left to right, which should be seen as a rough categorization, more than an exact ranking. Furthermore, I assumed that every weapon on this list is paired with a buckler. A buckler makes some otherwise completely unplayable weapons at least usable. For some of the bigger one-handers, like the messer or the mace, a buckler is not essential, but still useful. We are starting off with one of the strongest one-handers in this patch, the axe. The axe is a 5-point weapon that can kill heavy chest in 3 hits, which makes it the fastest 3 hit to kill weapon in the game. Insanely fast strike and stab windups often allow you to punish misses and feints. The X also has the fastest strike combo in the entire game that can get you a free combo hit if your opponent miss parries on the first attack. The weapon has decent yet not great dragability due to its 500 ms strike release. With a very low miss cost of only 7 and a super fast strike combo, you can just swing wildly and attempt to hit drags on the latest possible moment without worrying too much about potential misses. In addition, the axe has a stamina drain of 19, which is extremely good for such a small and cheap weapon. Pretty much the only drawbacks are the short range of only 60 cm and its swing manipulation, which is not the best. I was rather indecisive whether to put the axe into S tier or A tier, then decided to put it on top of A tier. Next we have the dagger. Daggers only deal stab damage and are as such not useful in high level duels, as there is no way to hit your opponent consistently with that weapon. C tier. The rapier is also mediocre at best in high level duels, as it doesn't offer a reliable way to hit your opponent. I put it on the lower end of B tier. This is probably a good time to mention that all stab dominant one-handers got massive nerfs in patch 19, namely reduced lunge, shorter morph and feint windows and nerfs to stamina values, which nerfed the morph feint playstyle tremendously. The one-handed messer is pretty good and A tier. It has good swing manipulation and good stamina drain. The only real difference between the one-handed and the two-handed mode is that the one-handed mode has slightly slower combo speed, a bit worse turn caps and a higher recovery time. So there's really not much reason to use the one-handed over the two-handed mode. The Bastard Sword is in my opinion currently the best stab dominant one-hander in the game. And even though the weapon is not as good as it once was, it seems to have withstood the Morphant playstyle nerf from patch 19 at least to some degree. The Bastard Sword doesn't have good stamina game anymore, but its Morphant mix-ups can still bring good players in trouble. I played a few rounds with it the other day and it felt surprisingly strong. A tier. The arming sword on the other hand, pre-nerf a top 3 dueling weapon feels pretty bad right now. Its morphine windows got shortened and closing distance to your opponent became a real problem due to the lunge nerf. The weapon is with its low strike damage and 475 ms strike release time just not very good for a drag XL playstyle. I put it at the top of B tier. Pretty much the same applies to the short spear. Once a really strong dueling weapon, the short spear relies on more faint mixups. And since they are more readable now, the weapon has problems to land hits against good opponents. B tier. The heavy hand axe is a versatile weapon for frontline and invasion and has good utility and good damage. As a pure dueling weapon, however, the hand axe is only B tier. The weapon feels a bit slow and sluggish, which makes it hard to make opponents early parry your excels. Also, the 475ms strike release 
is not really what you want for a weapon that relies on drags and axles. The loot is at the bottom of C tier and not something you should duel with unless you really want to prove a point. The mace is on the lower end of A tier. This miniature version of the Evening Star is the only one-hander that can kill heavy armored opponents with only two chest strikes. The mace is very short and slow however and can easily get kited, especially by light armored opponents. The falchion, an 8 point strike dominant one-hander, is B tier. The weapon has a 500 ms strike release, which should in theory allow for decent drag axle mix-ups. It kills heavy chest in 3 hits and has good stamina values. I can't really put my finger on what it is, but the falchion doesn't feel particularly strong. The cleaver is a 3 point strike dominant one-hander that can 3 hit to kill heavy chest. Excels are absolutely instant. Drags, due to the low range and low strike release time, not very good. I put it on the lower end of B tier. Next we have the Warhammer, the only S tier weapon on this tier list. The alt mode has 2 hit to kill potential against tier 3 armor with 1 head strike and 1 body strike. The best thing about it however is the hit stop combined with how fast the weapon is. The hit stop makes it so that whenever you land a hit, you can instantly follow up with another super fast wind up while looking down. And since your opponent can't really move because he is still crippled from the first blunt hit, he is forced to just stand there and decide what to do to save himself from a 65 damage hit to the face within a fraction of a second. The last three weapons are all C tier. The mallet and the blacksmith hammer are no real weapons and unusable in high level duels. The short sword has acceptable morphanes, but has very low damage, bad stamina drain and is very short. Alright, that's it for this tier list. I think that it is safe to say that most one-handers are currently worse than two-handers for high level dueling. Pre-nerf, the top one-handed weapons were perceived as pretty cancerous. No one really wanted to duel Bastard Sword or Arming Sword players and while the nerfs took away from the game's versatility, I believe that it was a healthy change overall. Let me know in the comments section what you think about one-handers. Should they be as strong as two-handers or should they be flat out worse to reflect their low cost? I will link part 1 of this dueling weapon tier list in the video description below in case you missed it. If you enjoyed this video, then leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more Mortal content. As always, thank you all for watching and see you soon.